we constantly promise ourselves that next year we'll finally reach our goals and become our best selves. How often did a motivation to follow through on your New Year's resolutions disappear five days into January? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid the same thing and tell you how you're actually gonna make this year your best year yet. I know that it can be hard to stay motivated and keep yourself on track, I totally get that. And honestly, it feels even harder when you feel like you're not doing enough or whatever you're doing isn't working and then you just end up feeling like making new year's resolutions and having goals is just stupid anyway. But I'm here to tell you that it is possible to reach all of your goals and become your best self. Just imagine how much you can do in one year if you actually stick to the promises that you make. By the end of this year, your life can look completely different. All you need are a few tools and a few tricks up your sleeve. Beginning of 2022, I wrote down all of my goals in Notion. I made a whole tracker. I don't think I achieved even half of them. About halfway into the year, I realized that what I was doing was not working for me. So I chose to take a step back and reassess my goals, my habits, and how my life was going. My goals completely changed, my daily routine completely changed, and I completely changed for the better. And I am so grateful for that. I can share some of my wins, I have a morning routine, I have an evening routine. I do, and I love them. I start my days and I end my days on a way better note since I built a morning routine that I love and an evening routine that I love. This was a definite win for me. Learn to speak Portuguese. This was not gonna happen in one year, but I did not stay consistent with it. I learned the most in the past two or three months, which is not a lot, but it's a little bit. <laughs> Stick to workout plan. I did that in the second half of the year. I chose to prioritize fitness and going to the gym. That was a major change that has helped me so much. To make this choice, I really had to start taking accountability and not see myself as a victim of my circumstances anymore because I used to think, I don't have time for this. I don't, I'm not gonna move for this. I'm too tired. I, I cannot wake up earlier. I used to make so many excuses. When I stopped making excuses and I started to hold myself accountable, I actually saw things change. Then I have social media related goals that I did not reach. I completely changed the direction that I was going on halfway through the year. University goals I kind of reached more or less, I'm like very close. Overall, I reached about 50% of my goals and I learned from the other 50%. I am so grateful for making the decision to, to just change my life and my goals around halfway through the year. I wouldn't have it any other way. I have never found a journal that I absolutely love that fits all my needs, like that fits all of the things that I want to have in a journal. I decided to buy an empty journal and I will start bullet journaling. I found this cute journal, it has like a heart on it. It's cute. And I got some markers, also blue. I do not have the patience to do this. <laughs> I do not. I'm just thinking like, how easy would this be to do in Notion? And I wouldn't have to redo it every single month for every single week. I started my journal with like what is kind of my vision for 2023 and I wrote everything in the present tense so like in 2023 I am doing this and doing that like in 2023 I finish my university degree and stuff like that I have it on the first page of my journal so that I can read through it anytime I feel like maybe a bit unmotivated or I'm kind of like overthinking stuff now it's time to set the goals for 2023. I've done some research. Apparently there's a correct way to do it or at least a better way to do it. You start by making a gratitude list. Just write down everything you're grateful for, what you've been grateful for in the past year. And ideally you do all of this while having enough time for it, while setting the mood, like lighting some candles, putting some nice music on, all of that. have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna meet who you're gonna meet who you're gonna meet
And then you go into the goals for the next year and you can divide them up into categories like social, romantic, financial, work, university, school, personal development. <laughs> The goals are set and now it's time to make a vision board. I am going for a goal that I just wrote down and I will be looking for a picture that kind of matches the goal, the aesthetic, the vibe of it. After I save all of the pictures, I will just make a simple collage from it. Then I will set that collage as my wallpaper, as my background. If I'm in a moment where I lack motivation, it really helps me to look at my vision board and remember why I started. <music> I have to say I love Notion. Notion might just be the best planning tool that I've ever found I've ever used. If you don't know what Notion is, it's like a planning tool that's fully customizable. You can do so many things. You can create planners, calendars, trackers, everything. And there are people out there who share some amazing templates with everyone on the internet and I'm so grateful for them because I love using those templates and it saves me so much time. I've kind of just pieced together multiple templates and taken stuff from here and there to make it something that fits for me. Oh my god. I have templates for a meal planner, my 2022 goals, a content planner, an exam planner, and a book planner. I just wanna do some research and find some new templates that I like. Just take it up a notch. Just make this whole system a little bit better. And then you have everything in the same place because that's what I like. It replaces multiple apps. This is the cutest mug. I got this as an early Christmas present and it's so cute. Focus, please, focus. Isn't it adorable? I just want to say working on your habits and looking forward to a new year makes you feel so hopeful and so empowered and positive about the new year. Even if you've never done like a yearly reset and it sounds like so much to do and so much time to invest, it's not, you don't have to do every single thing. It really makes you feel very hopeful and very happy. Cause I gotta say you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be a one of the things I Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Moving in the blurry lights Next up is to clean my desktop Actually, it doesn't look that bad There's just like a lot of video files right now on there for some reason <laughs> This is one of the videos that I'm working on currently mm, I'm not the biggest fan This is what it looks like now I just, the color palette is not vibing with me. The fact that these folders are like blue, it just doesn't fit with the whole like black vibe and also this picture I don't like, but I like the quote. Can you make folders change colors? That would be cool. I think I'm gonna keep working on this, but for now it's pretty good. I have 24,000 pictures, I mean pictures and videos. I have my exams folder. I can just delete all of this, so goodbye. Delete. Another exam folder. Delete. I found some Snapchat filter photos. Where's the, where's the dog filter? 
I cannot find the dog filter, but I definitely have like cat ear, cat ear, crown, another crown. Fascinating. much for watching my channel i'm so grateful for all of your support it means the world to me that you choose to watch and i cannot wait to see what next year brings i hope you have a wonderful holiday season and an amazing start into the next year and i'll see you next year I'll